Drugs are menacing our society. They're threatening our values and undercutting our institutions. They're killing our children. From the beginning of our administration, we've taken strong steps to do something about this horror. Tonight, I can report to you that we've made much progress. 37 federal agencies are working together in a vigorous national effort. And by next year, our spending for drug law enforcement will have more than tripled from its 1981 levels. We have increased seizures of illegal drugs. Shortages of marijuana are now being reported. Last year alone, over 10,000 drug criminals were convicted. The rate of incarceration is so high, so socially concentrated, that we're no longer incarcerating the individual, but we're incarcerating whole social groups. The rate of incarceration now is about five times higher than it was historically. Historically it was 100 per 100,000, now it's about 500 per 100,000. If we look at prison, if we add jail to that, it's about 700 per 100,000. Nowhere in the world incarcerates as much as we do. We've seen extremely high rates of exposure to the criminal justice system for African American men with very low levels of schooling. As a nation, our goal must be to do everything we can to create the conditions that prevent mass incarceration. Latest study that I have seen shows that 69% of African American males who drop out of high school end up in jail. What a tragedy. And at a time when we are spending $80 billion a year on our correctional system, it makes a lot more sense to me to be investing in jobs and education rather than jails and incarceration. It makes more sense to me to be investing in our children, making sure they stay in school, making sure they get the mentoring that they need rather than simply locking them up.